All right, but we have one of the best wedding, <laughs> no pressure, one of the best wedding <laughs> speech givers of all time, if I do say so myself. We got the Isabel Daza in the house. <sighs> Thanks, Nicole. Thanks, Patrick, for setting the bar. Solo. No, I'm kidding. Um, are you guys hungry? It'll pass, don't worry. <laughs> Jess, Jess and more. Jess. I love Jess. <laughs> this is pretty long. I love Jess because she's always the first to laugh at my jokes. But I'm going to start today with the obvious. Jess is effortlessly gorgeous. She doesn't need to try hard. When we were young, we would play in a basketball team together, and all the boys had a crush on Jess. Actually, even some of the girls also. The girl from Bel Air, remember? Um, but Jess, George, Ava, and I really grew up as sisters because we, we were in the same um, household almost. Sorry, Martine and Dre. You guys were in LA. Um, and we would always do like Spice Girls dances. George was always Jerry Hollywell and Jess and I would like fight to be Baby Spice. And then Backstreet Boys, George was like Nick Carter and Jess and I would like fight to be Kevin. And then NSYNC came and George was like Justin and then Jess and I were like, okay, we don't want to be Lance Bass. <laughs> but we would always <laughs> do, <laughs> we were. We would always do some dances and, and that was our pastime. Uh, Growing up, Jess would always be with me in the mall, and there was this ice cream shop called Dippin' Dots. I don't know if you guys know that. And it was so expensive, it was like 50 pesos for a cup, and we would never have money to pay for it, and so we would go there and try like all the samples and then scurry off. So Jess, yeah, exactly. So Jess and I still do that. We go to the expensive stores, and we try the champagne and get the free chocolate, and you know, go to Aesop and like, lather our body with lotion then we scurry off so <laughs> we like free stuff what can i say but um jess was born a peacemaker one time my sister ava and i were f you know having a fist fight like last year <laughs> one of the many fist fights we've had and uh, jess went in the middle and she was trying to stop us and she got punched in the face and she came out with a bruised lip but um, she wasn't even mad at us, you know? She was just like disappointed. Um, and that's just Jess. She's, she's so loving like that. Um, Jess, in her teen years, went through a very rough patch. Oop, sorry. She was diagnosed with a brain tumor. I don't know if any, most of you know this. She had to go through an MRI and um, we found out because she would sleep 12 hours straight and she couldn't wake up and one time her arm was stiffening and it was a really really tough time for our family <coughs> and we had to shave her head because she had to go through an operation <laughs> and I was there when mommy Duda her mom took her to Bruno's barbers it wasn't even a salon like, <laughs> like and the guy started shaving off her head and she was 15 and I was 17 and I'll never forget it because she put her hands in her face and she couldn't look at the mirror. And I just kept thinking like, better her than me, like, cause I couldn't pull off a bald <laughs> head. Like, f she has a face for that. That bone structure, like, thank God it wasn't me. Um, and of course, five guys in our batch uh, shaved their heads for her. None of which she took to prom. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But, you know, Jess is that type of person, and she has that beauty that, you know, you don't feel bad about yourself. She always lifts you up, and she always includes you, and she always wants the best for you, which is weird. <laughs> um, Jess is really easygoing. Some would classify her as a pushover. But she isn't. She just likes living a conflict-free life. One time, George and I were at a Levi's event, and they literally said, you can take as many denim jackets as you want. No exaggeration, Seema knows this. George took home like 10 jackets, 
And I took home six. <laughs> and then we gave it to Jess to take home because we wanted to stay at the party. What a sucker. She took it home and she wasn't even like mad. <laughs> she was just like super sad. <laughs> but that's just Jess. She doesn't really get mad at us. Thank God. Um, no, but in all seriousness, seriousness, Jess is really wise. One time, um, I was feeling really bad because I saw something on social media. Remember this? And I was crying to her on the phone, and I was so jealous and envious. And I went to her, and she said, don't make other people's happiness your sadness. And that really changed my perspective. Like, I never went back to her for advice after that. <laughs> I asked Martine to contribute to this speech and she's like, Jess is really good at making decks and she really knows how to stretch a dollar. I'm like, do you know Jess? Thanks, teen. <laughs> According to Jess's mom, she's outstanding with accounting. She knows how to collect checks. Um, when her dad passed away, she took most of the financial decisions. She made sure to be the co-signatory <laughs> in her bank accounts in his bank account, so she got first dibs on the inheritance. <laughs> yeah. No, but Jess's hobby is to dress and feed her mom. This is from your mom, she said that. Even last night, she was worried about her mom. She was always like, where's my mom? How is she? Actually, Jess has no friends, it's just her mom. <laughs> but you know that, that friend that always brings her mom around? That's Jess. <laughs> no, but yeah, there she is. Then, then she met Moritz. Don't worry, Moritz. I have a lot for you, too. Uh, Rudy Gard and Annette, do you know how Moritz and Jess met? Do you know Moritz's parents? They met at a bar. They had a one-night stand. <laughs> and they woke up the next day, and they didn't know each other's names. And they spent the whole day getting coffees, but they didn't acknowledge it acknowledge each other's names because they didn't know it. <laughs> Getting coffee together, that's something they both share. But before that, let's talk about Moritz. I'm freezing. Moritz moved to the Philippines years ago and he bet my husband Adrian that he would only stay for three years. And it's been like, what, 10 years? He's uh, been here for 10 years and he's attending Tatler balls and stuff. But I, I love that. <laughs> That Moritz is so knowledgeable, but the one thing he cares most about is gossip. <laughs> Not only does he know people's families and their history, he knows their excess, he, he knows the history of illnesses in their family. Like, if you wanted to stalk somebody online, you're better off asking Moritz. Actually, when I meet people, when I used to meet people, they say, oh, you're the daughter of Gloria now? They're like, you're the cousin-in-law of Moritz? <laughs> like, that's how popular he is in the Philippines. <laughs> what I love about Moritz is he's not shy to admit when he's wrong, <laughs> which is all the time. <laughs> but I've, I've played numerous pranks on Moritz, and one of... One of, um, none of which I recorded on video, sadly, but one of the nightmare, one of Moritz's nightmares is to be underdressed. <laughs> and one day, um, we were going to watch Sharapova in uh, the Mall of Asia with Erwan, Nico, and Adrian, and we, s we were like, okay, let's all dress up casually. And then I told the guys to dress up in a suit and tie, and Moritz came. And he saw Nico, Erwan, and Adrian in a suit and tie, and his hairline moved back like two inches. <laughs> and then we told him, like, we're actually sitting in a box with all the tycoons in Manila. And he pulled Jess to the corner, and he started getting mad at her. And he was like, I'm going home to get dressed. <laughs> OK. Yeah, this is just for my pleasure. Moritz is, Moritz is one of the most stylish guys I know. He doesn't get swayed by trends, which I respect. He sticks to what he likes, which is a budget. <laughs> he also spends a lot of time fixing his hair. That's just a random fact, but I love your hair, Maury. 
when we're about to eat in our family, Moritz always comes and he looks at the table and he does this thing where he like crinkles his nose and he's like, there's so much food. <laughs> and then he proceeds to eat everything on the table. You're like, okay. But really, I mean, Moritz is like the perfect prop to Jess's paid posts because he's, he's so good looking and you know, he likes free stuff. Moritz, Moritz starts every sentence with, I read an article. <laughs> and you're like... <laughs> right? You, you can be in a circle of friends and he comes in and he's like, I read an article on Wikipedia. <laughs> and it's so legit. Um, <laughs> but that's why he got his nickname. We call him Rizzo, Rizzopedia in the Philippines. Um, the best way Moritz expresses himself is his dancing. You know, he's not afraid to look weird or dumb. What I love about Moritz and Jess is their thoughtfulness. They never want to hassle anyone. Um, one time Jess came home from a trip and she didn't have a pasalubong or a gift for me and I never made her forget that. So every time she travels, she always has something offer to offer me. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, um, what I love about Maybe what a lot of people don't know about this couple is how dedicated they are to their parents, um, especially Aurora and Robert, living in the Philippines. I've actually watched Moritz and Jess uh, bring them to their appointments, um, have dinner with them, bring them food late at night, including, including them in plans, taking them on beach trips. And it's so admirable. Actually, do you have room for two more? Because my mom and my stepdad <laughs> are, are available. <laughs> No, but um, lastly, uh, Jess, I, I wanted to say that I know that Daddy, your dad, wanted to be here so badly because when I asked him if he would give like a little video, he told me after I'm done writing the father of the bride speech. <laughs> Mitch never gave it. Anyways, <sighs> um, Daddy, I know I know that Daddy is so proud of both of you and and uh, the couple you have grown to be. So I just want to raise a glass or I don't have a glass. A drindle. To Jess and Moritz, um, we're all here because we love both of them and we're celebrating their love for each other. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>